Greetings Oregon Ridge Clinic. My name is Tim Yet, and I'm the project manager for the GW Group Consulting Firm. We will share our analysis of the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats for the Oregon Ridge Clinic. Today's analysis has been developed by a team of consulting experts hand-picked especially for your clinic. Our team includes Amy Elsante, Troy Betts, Brittany Conrad, Paige Hershend, Timothy Roshan, and myself. Building upon your roadmap for success, we will help you develop an action plan to improve patient access, data management, practice teams, and care management programs. These improvements will lead you to your final goal to become an NCQA recognized patient-centered medical home. IHI Triple AIM. Everything we'll share with you today is supported by the Institute of Health's Triple AIM. Utilizing our recommendations, you can ensure a focused approach in line with the triple aim of improving the quality and satisfaction of your patient population experiences, improving their health, and reducing the overall cost of healthcare services you provide. PCMH is a population health-based approach to primary care that aligns with the Institute of Medicine's six aims of quality healthcare. Equitable, effective, efficient, safe, timely, and patient-centered. It is a care delivery model that is founded on patient and care team partnerships and continuous quality improvement. Patients, providers, and community resources collaborate to provide robust, holistic care that addresses patient health and wellness needs in a culturally and linguistically appropriate manner. Ambulatory care teams are charged with addressing patient care issues fully by empowering patients to contribute to their care through shared decision-making tools and addressing barriers to care and wellness. NCQA Patient-Centered Medical Home 2014 Standards. Utilizing the six standards outlined for recognition, we have provided a roadmap that Oregon Ridge Clinic can use to achieve recognition. Special considerations been given to the following must-pass elements. Number 1A enhanced access and continuity through patient-centered appointment access. 2D, providing team-based care utilizing a practice team. 3D, use of data for population management. And 4A, improved planning and management of care focused on identifying patients that would benefit from care management. We will begin by discussing the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats that need to be addressed during your journey to PCMH recognition. Oregon Ridge Clinic is operating from a position of many strengths and you are solidly on the path to becoming an NCQA recognized medical home for your patients. You provide same-day appointments and needed after-hours care and in a few minutes we will discuss how you can leverage local partnerships to continue to improve patient access. You have a strong autonomous staff with defined roles who are able to meet a variety of patient needs. You are already providing many services commensurate with patient-centered care. Your comprehensive care plans take into account not only a patient's health needs, but their social and emotional needs and personal preferences. You also have strong medication management practices, though this can be impeded when a patient cannot remember their medications. We will offer strategies to combat this problem. You have formed strong community partnerships and we will offer additional recommendations to help you leverage these relationships to their full potential. You are utilizing technology effectively to e-prescribe and to easily reconcile medications. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, you have already developed an internal culture that emphasizes patient preferences, care coordination, safety, and efficiency. In addition to the many strengths identified, Oregon Ridge Clinic has opportunities for growth. We at the GW Group will help you identify these opportunities and provide you with tools to overcome them. You currently lack a system for continuous quality improvement. We will provide you with training and reference materials to identify areas for growth and will equip you with plan, do, study, act tools to develop and implement process improvement initiatives. Your current methods of communication could be bolstered through more robust communication tools and methods. 
we will assist you in development of a communication training module based on the AHRQ Health Literacy Universal Precautions Toolkit. You currently do not have formal staff training and development curricula. We will work with you to ensure all staff are fully trained by providing registry management training and an interventions tip sheet to all staff working registries. You currently don't have a strong referral system. We will help you develop and implement clear rules for the identification and referral of patients to the PCMH Care Management Program and create an educational document that can be distributed to local community resources. Your current list of community resources is outdated and incomplete. We have conducted a review of current community resources, their effectiveness, and their current relationship with the clinic. You can access the Oregon Ridge Guidebook for an updated list of resources available to patients and staff based on areas of need and diagnosis. At the GW Group, we pride ourselves on giving you an honest assessment of your strengths and weaknesses with the goal of injecting new opportunities to position you for the future now. William Pollard once said, those who initiate change have a better opportunity to manage the inevitable. So in order to manage the most significant changes that will have the biggest impact, we focused on these primary opportunities. Number one, engage staff. Scheduled team meetings and communication methods for process improvement will help engage staff on improving patient care services. Number two, develop standardized workflows. Restructure workflows to focus on a more patient-centered perspective. Standardize processes to help ensure more efficiency. Number three, utilize the data you have available to drive change. Engage local schools, community leaders, and health departments to share generalized data for a concentrated effort on improving education and community health needs. And number four, seize on the opportunities you have for system integration. Utilize EMR data analytics to monitor the clinic's patient population that is involved in care management. And number five, engage in early interventions to improve patient outcomes. Your EMR can be used to identify patients who have high ER utilization, poorly controlled chronic conditions, multiple complex conditions, and high risk environments that would benefit from care management. Number six, improved care management. Share community leveraging agents with staff to assist them in meeting patients' lifestyle goals. Encourage staff to work with community resources, the health department, and case managers to ensure adequate resources are available to patients. And number seven, expand after-hour services. Provide routine and urgent care services outside of regular business hours. And increase the number of available practitioners. And number eight, encourage self-efficacy and behavior management. Utilize the AHRQ Health Literacy Universal Precautions Toolkit to develop a training module for all clinic staff, supporting patient self-management, self-efficacy, and behavior change. And number nine, patient and family engagement. You have a great opportunity to involve and engage the community and patients in identifying problems and solutions for common health and access-related issues. And number 10, preventative services. Focus on preventative breast cancer screening services to benefit your patient population. We feel the opportunities we've outlined will not only position you for success moving forward, but will reduce risks that may threaten Oregon Ridge Clinic's future. The most immediate threats are, number one, a lack of community involvement. To remain viable and ensure continued growth, we recommend you engage community leaders to help empower patient participation. Number two, non-compliance with treatment plans. Non-compliance of treatment plans by your patient population puts you at significant financial risk and threatens your long-term viability. We have some creative and inexpensive solutions to help you increase patient compliance with your treatment plan. Utilizing outside resources that are free or low cost, such as pharmaceutical companies, which will allow you to offer patient education and self-management tools for a wide range of chronic health conditions. Johnson & Johnson is a leader in diabetes education and can offer nurses training at low cost. The World Health Organization and Centers for Disease Control can offer self-management tools and plans free of charge, available on their websites. Here's what we can do for you.
In closing, we at the GW Group have developed key recommendations and identified primary resources Oregon Ridge Clinic can begin implementing immediately to meet the standards for NCQA certification. We are honored to partner with you and look forward to your ongoing success as you work to achieve certification of the Oregon Ridge Clinic.